though there are several types of testicular cancer, 95% of testicular cancers are what we call germ cell tumors. These are tumors that arise from the sperm producing cells within the testicle. Of germ cell tumors, we tend to categorize testicular cancers into two broad categories, and this includes seminoma and non-seminomatous germ cell tumors. Seminomas are one category, non-seminomatous germ cell tumors are another category. Within that particular category, there are various types of cancers that can exist. These include things like embryonal carcinoma, teratoma, uh, choriocarcinoma, and yolk sac tumors. These are all categorized as non-seminomatous germ cell tumors. Now, why is it important to distinguish the two? The reason, the main reason, we know that seminomas respond well to radiation therapy. We also know that non-seminomatous germ cell tumors do not respond well to radiation therapy. So what type of cancer you have is very important because it dictates and determines the types of therapies that are available to you. Seminomas can also respond well to chemotherapy. However, if you have a mixture of the two types, including seminoma and some non-seminoma, then we treat that as a what's called a mixed germ cell tumor, and it would be treated more as a non-seminomatous germ cell tumor that does not respond well to radiation. So many of those patients may uh, undergo chemotherapy. But these are the general broad categories, and these are the reasons we, we separate them into these categories. Now the ultimate treatments that are required really depend on the type of cancer you have, the level of what we call tumor marker elevation. Tumor markers are proteins produced by testicular tumors in some cases, and they can also guide what types of therapies are required, and also uh, the, what we call the stage of the cancer. How extensive is it? How far has it spread? Has it spread to the abdominal area? Has it spread to the chest area or beyond? So the stage, the type of cancer you have, the status of your tumor markers will all determine the types of therapies that may be required for you. But seminomas and non-seminomas have two different categories of treatments and that's why we distinguish the two categories.